Poppy. I was living in Oregon and uh, I was browsing at a place that I like to browse in a bookstore in the cheap book sections, the remainder section, and I simply picked up a book that was written, I, I wish I knew the title, I wish I knew the author. It was some guy who was a naturalist, a, maybe he was a forest ranger, but the book was how he uh, found a baby owl. Is it an owlet? I, I don't know what you call a baby owl. Anyway, um, he had fallen out of the nest and he had rescued it and brought it back to full, full health and then taught it to go back into the wilderness. In other words, it was all about owls. And I didn't know anything about owls, but it was a really interesting book and well written. And uh, I, by the time I finished it, I thought, I'm going to write a book about an owl. And if you read Poppy, you'll see that it starts not with Poppy. It starts with Mr. Okax, the owl. And what happened is something that often happens in my writing. My focus changes. The book goes in a different direction. I, I love to quote Robert Frost, the American poet, who said, if there are no surprises for the writer, there are no surprises for the reader. And sure, I was interested in Mr. Okax, but then I got interested in the mouse that he was trying to eat, and that was Poppy. And out of that, the whole book shifted, and I wrote the book Poppy. Now, it didn't begin, it wasn't, a series, except if you get to the ending, there's a little tiny jump in the ending in, in which it makes reference to the character Rye, and then it says, but that's another story. And that was the first inkling that there might be some other stories, but I, I hadn't really planned it that way. So then, in fact, I did later write Poppy and Rye, which was the third book in the series. And then I realized that the character who is sort of embedded in the story and so important is Ragweed, who dies in the first pages of Poppy. So I went back and wrote the book Ragweed to explain who he is and what he is. And then I just kept on. I just loved the character so much. And in, in many ways, uh, I mean, people, you talk, and, and other people have talked about how Catch You Later, Traitor is autobiographical. But believe it or not, the Poppy books are also autobiographical, but only in the sense of they are part of my family and my kids. And there are many things in there that are connected to that. And for that matter, people say, I think the character of Aerith is based on you. And they say, well, I don't, well, I don't know about that. but. Uh, maybe a little bit, so. But he's a great character, so I'll take, if people r reference me to him, that's, he's fine, so.